Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're to another Association Joint Olympics game. Tingling NBA action. It'll be DeMarcus Cousins and the Sacramento Kings facing off against Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls. DeMarcus Cousins and Derrick Rose being scouted tonight. We'll see how this goes for the Chicago Bulls and Sacramento team of the Kings. Beautiful view of Chicago right there. A Halloween game. We have Mark Price, Tyreek Evans, the legend Mark Price, the Marcus Cousins. I think it's his first year of being a record from not being a rookie. And Thomas Robinson with his first appearance. Michael Jordan in. And he's with Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman. As it is, there was lineup with Josh Smith in as the power forward position, but the Bulls have made a, a last like change. As I had management convinced that Rodman, Pippen, and Jordan be together. Our Jordan player of the game, man. Michael Jordan playing tonight. We will see how LeBron compares also. Page Second best turnover rate in the league. In that category, so really just a very sound team, nothing flashy, very solid. And so, what's the Kings getting on the board first? As it is, a lot of players like to compare with Michael Jordan, so we'll see how things are comparison tonight. Derek Rose, we'll see if Derek Rose and Joe Key Noah have fun tonight. Rodman with the block. Thomas Robinson. And there's Chicago's first bucket. We will see if Chicago will be the first team to win at home. Tariq Evans. Scotty Pippen throwing it down. Side of the floor in the half court, kind of zoning up basically. And then 
So Marcus Cousins. Well, he took advantage of that mismatch size-wise, went right up with it. Yeah, he loves those mid-range jumpers. Bulls trail by five. Outside Pippen. He feeds it to Jordan. Over Evans, on target from 13 feet. Michael Jordan. That is who the the Jordan player of the game is after. For the people that do not know basketball. Whether it's in Houston or Boston, he's always played that key role in creating those schemes that he's known for. Obviously, he's taken those to Chicago now. The Bulls have been one of the best defensive clubs in the league the last couple of years. So, Tom Thibodeau, no question, excellent defensive player. I'll target with his three. Kings leading now by five. Price, right side. Shoots over Pippen. And the Kings take it in two more. Mark Price. We'll see how the Kings are with acquiring Mark Price, the legend. With Page coming strong from being a legend also. He might be on strong free agency. I'm not sure. I can't remember. No, Pedro is a legend. Robinson is just a physical specimen. Look at those shoes. He's, no, he's, he's on a legendary team uh, of the Kings prior season. He can have a major attack on the game. Yeah, no question about it. He'll bang with just about anybody. I think 2005. Good nose for the ball. He rebounds well on both backboards. I think he's improved as a shooter. He's out with 16 feet. Now, here's Price. Scotty Pippen and able to get his shot to go. To Marcus Cousins. I may be incorrect about that. To Marcus Cousins with four points so far tonight. And they force him out of bounds. They get him to, to commit. Eyes on Derrick Rose as he is being scouted. Coach calls timeout. Page again from three. They still have a lot of time to get back into this game. They got to do a better job of limiting the second chance points. Just like I said last game, the second chance points. Derek Rose. Against Price, Robinson a 
Page uh, again. Not be going much better for them so far, particularly offensively. I'll say, I mean, you don't see too many first quarter leads this big. Now here's Rutt looking for his first bucket of the game. Jordan pitch to Rodman. Back to Jordan. Michael Jordan. Has a couple assists and a couple score makes so far tonight. Mark Price with the three attempts. Thomas Robinson with his. They've gotten off to a big lead for them, and we're not even out of the first quarter yet. It's not just their hot offense here. I mean, first rookie appearance. We will check it out. We'll see if he'll be on rookie. Great look, disappointing report. You know, most times he knocks that one down. Price kicks to Robinson. Back to Price. No good. Great defense that time from Noah. Bulls trail by 13. Bows up on top. Very by Sviakovich. Noah's got his. Jokey Noah with a nice shot. Gotta love the low post offense. That was beautiful. Price kicks to Evans. Tipped. And stolen by Jordan. And it's Rose penetrating. Good on the shot. And she is the lead to single digits. Derek Rose. Rose has got his third basket of the night right there. Kings leading now by nine. Derek Rose showing that he he's the right person to be scouting tonight. So Chicago ends up going with the new group and some changes here for the Kings. There are some changes for the Kings. Aaron Brooks is in. Jason Thompson. Marcus Thornton. Chuck Hayes. And John Salmons. Luau Dang from the Bulls. The Bulls going with a, a new five also. Carlos Boozer, Nate Robinson, Luau Dang, and Vinny Del Negro. And it's going to be something to see Josh Smith play. I made a recommendation that he should play for Chicago with Carlos Boozer. And I get to see them play together right now. Marcus Thornton. Oh. Nate Robinson. Right out of the gate, just filling it up. 
both teams are, guys. I mean, points coming fast and furious. Kings leading now by seven. Brooks gets the point. Dishes it to Thompson. We'll hear their names on the way swagger. We'll hear every team on the way swagger whenever they score. Unless the crew is playing with their... Aaron Brooks with a nice three. But we have another buzzer beater. How about the buzzer beater from Larry? And Josh Smith with a nice buzzer beater nails it down to six. Thursday night, Kevin Durant of the Oklahoma City Thunder, George Tim Duncan and the San Antonio Spurs do not Huge game as both teams want to win. Josh Smith with a rejection. Michael with the rebound grab. Derek Rose trusting Scotty Pippen. Hey, Jeff. And what the touch he has from long range, guys. He'll stretch the defense single handedly because of how effective he is from beyond the arc. Well, that's what he's built his reputation on, Steve, being a spot up shooter. And as often as he hits the target, he's got the freedom and the green light to let it fly from anywhere on the court. Get the dishes to Jordan. Huge shot. Double replay for his superstardom. That was a crucial catch up point. Thomas Robinson. And I'm thinking I'm liking this matchup with Josh Smith and Thomas Robinson as he responds back. Tyreek Evans, not an easy score on Michael Jordan. The Kings leading with 13 rebounds, up by five rebounds with 
The Bulls only have an eight so far tonight. Josh Smith. And it looks like he's fitting in with this team already. The crew very quickly with lighting tonight. Huge rejections right there. Derek Rose picks it up. Outside Rose. Outside Pippen. Back to Rose. Gibson inside. Outside for Pippen. Offensive rebound. That's good. Josh Smith. Josh Smith. Points in the paint have been the main course of main entry, if you will. They just keep pounding it inside. Well, they're seeing no resistance defensively in the main area, so the defense has got to be tough. Page, and he's showing himself tonight. They're just leaving him wide open. Or they're just not getting to him in time. Right from the free throw line. Aaron Brooks. He could have read a book cover to cover with all the time he was given on that three. My goodness, come on, play some deep. I could have read a book, could have played a video game, could have mowed the lawn. I mean, come on, defense, play. Dishes it to Jordan. Evans is there. Here's from 14. And Jordan gets it to go. Michael Jordan, and I don't know if we're going to see a shot like that one again. Josh Smith already with 16 points with two rebounds. Yes, outstanding work. Thomas Robinson trying to respond. I'll try to keep that in mind during defeats. Losses are losses. Scotty Pippen. Travis Outlaw in. Price. 
interesting is that Rose had missed a lot of time last year with the team in the regular year, but the Bulls weathered the storm. But once they knew it was gone uh, from them having him in the lineup, I'm sure they felt like a different story. Now. And Steve, they had to do it. Well, I was looking to weather the storm during the regular season, uh, but deal with the absence of a superstar in the playoffs. Luau Dang tries to respond. Dennis Rodman out leading with this team right now. Jason Tom. In the action, we can show you the teams that have the most rebounds last season. Number one, the Bulls. Boy, last season they were phenomenal on the glass. I mean, everybody took pride in rebounding. The, the Bulls basketball. with the oh, highest the amount ball. of Not catching the ball off the rim in glass. glass as well. A terrific offensive rebounding team. It's the bucket. Beautifully executed play there to get that basket. Marcus Thornton spread the floor offensively and usually guards the opponent's best offensive player. Del Negro gets to Robinson. On the wing, Dane. Covered by Outlaw. It's back. Dane can't get it to go. And guys, you recall for Lou Al Dang in the All-Star introductions, he wore a t-shirt with the outline of Africa on the front. Dang is a native of Sudan, and he's very conscious of reaching back and inspiring other kids from Africa to train big. Marcus Thornton again. Bulls trail by seven. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, I mean, a cold stretch offensively. They desperately need a basket. No one wishes to run. Dennis Rodman. Now Price. He has spot. Now to the screen on Robinson. How long did he take? In his first shot attempt, Rodman with the defensive effort. I think whichever team starts to dominate the glass can really take control of this game. I won't disagree with you. I mean, it's so tight between these teams right now on the board that. You're just waiting to see which team might pull away. Okay, passes to Robinson. Like it's it. Over Outlaw. Price against Robinson. Price gets to Thornton. Price. Needs to Outlaw. Back to Price. Teams moving the ball around. Thornton, no good. Not able to find him here in the second. As it is, the Kings get a good foul. Travis Ella with a good foul. As Nate Robinson misses his first shot. Who is fearless on the court. He'll take big shots. He'll attack the rim. And as short as he is, he's got an extremely strong body. So he's able to absorb contact and still finish. But as it is, any foul isn't good. That makes him really tough to deal with because that low center of gravity is a power flow. A fire hydrant type guy. Diesel is what we call him. 
Nate Robinson, who played with Golden State a year ago, has always been a very high-energy, emotional player. He's a tough guy you have coming off the bench because of his ability to score and change the game with that intensity. Michael Jordan. Did you see that? Oh, we got to see that one again, guys. Yeah. We've got to see that again. Yeah. I need a replay. I, I, I'm not sure what I just looked at. Price with the ball. He has spot. He dishes it to self. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. And for Robinson, he shoots the pass. And a little bit of a brain neutral play right there. He just brings so much energy, Clark, when he plays the he game. He just passed it a little bit too he's quickly. He's fearless in how he attacks the game. And I think he Before he, had, he was able to, he is a to be side. set. He has been involved all his life, but he hasn't let that stop. And the Bulls making a change here. Poses check in. Shots good. Scotty Pippen with 10 points and two rebounds so far tonight. 50% from the field. So far, we'll, we'll hope that he keeps it up there. The Marcus Cousins with a beautiful hook. Michael Jordan again. And they were ready and prepared for his three that time. He had to shoot it so quickly that he overshot it. Oh, he goes for an alley oop. No luck. Five players playing as one. Huge shot. As he almost made it from that angle. In game time. Both teams evenly matched. We'll see if Chicago takes it for home. As we're at halftime, listen to our report. Josh Smith scouted, Paige is scouted, and Michael scouted. A tight one for the Bulls at United Center going against Sacramento. Through two quarters, their offense has been simply unstoppable. Bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket after bucket you get. For Josh Smith, things certainly going his way against the Kings D. His shooting percentage off the charts right now. He's got the magic touch from the field, no question about it. But you know, also, the Kings came to play. They're languishing at 500 here in the early going. They're looking to push into that win column. They just Koyaka has come up big. We all know he can deliver huge performances and he could be on his way to another. As it is, please stay tuned. How do you think? And what do you think about the Kings? As it is, I'll be saying it about every team. Do you think that they're ready for the finals? Do you think the Bulls are ready for the finals? Yeah, he's done a great job of finding the soft spots in that defense. And a very efficient game for him so far. And I like what he's done, Steve. I mean, he's made a couple of jumpers here and there, but what he's really done impressively is... Jokey Noah with the rejection. 
Derrick Rose finds his way in. He makes it from the free throw line. A lot of plays have been excellent that these players have been utilizing to catch others off guard. They're playing together as one on defense right now. They're down by four. Tyreek Evans. Of course, DeMarcus Cousins took the shot. I was thinking that they were going to pass it to Tyreek. That's elite level when you talk about knocking down threes. But when you think about this club, the first thing that comes to mind is their ability to rebound the ball. Best in the league. Mark Price so finds a window. And That's how they tried to win games. Just makes it. A beautiful up and under be below the hoop. It's not easy. Huge intimidation factor in that angle. Well, you talk about teams that had a great defense last year. You got to mention these guys. I mean, they were great at finding ways to come up with the ball. Deflections, loose balls, and steals. Michael Jordan. Points for Jordan, and with six banners hanging up in Chicago, the city is really healthy with a lot of pride and winning tradition here. And they immediately call a timeout before he heats up. Thomas Robinson getting acquainted with the NBA. You're winning, the whole city loves it. Bradley Bill and Dion Waiters have done good. They sell out game after game, unbelievable fan support. But Thomas Robinson, a starter also at this moment. Cousins. Cousins has got seven rebounds in the game. 
Marcus Cousins is just one of those guys who takes up so much space in the paint, and as a result, he's one of the top five rebounders in the league. He's just getting started. This guy has just scratched the surface. And Cousins with the block. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain the And here's what the Chicago Bulls schedules look like. Our next game is at Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland, taking on the Cavaliers. And yes, we've seen that. We've seen that. That's yeah, their know, next game. Cleveland really hoping for from the Cleveland game. game. Big game for both teams. We'll see. Cousins has got four points now in the fourth. And Steve, you talked about Cousins. Fourth and rebound in the league last season. He's a guy that I think has the potential to lead the league in rebound. And really, that should be one of his goals. With his size, strength, timing, and They leave another wide open lane to Thomas Robinson. Pretty significant laps there on the defensive end, guys. Yeah, those are the ones. You, know, you just can't allow them. You know, if you're giving up dunks and layups, defensively, you're in good trouble. Mark Price, Pedro, Pedro brings it to one. Pippen and Jordan and Rodman playing together on that play. I love it. Pedro with great effort tonight. As the crew cuts the lights off right after he scores, they settle by their favoritism tonight. We're not sure, but that timeout did some good justice. As coach probably had some time to talk to Storyakovich to settle the score. Of the lead. Michael Jordan again. Michael Jordan again. He has three assists and three steals also tonight so far. What activity. The Marcus Cousins. Pedro again not letting them down. Jordan's got 20. Well, for him, that 
Jokey Noah still makes it. And the Bulls lead by one. I think the best quality for Noah is the energy that he brings to the game, Kevin. He's got long arms, he can rebound, handle the ball, and make plays, but really, it's just the impact he has with his, Whoa. his energy that's most impressive. Everybody they send it this time. Real demon on the backboard. An outstanding offensive rebounder. He's a good passer, too. If he sees an open teammate, he won't hesitate to move the rock. And he's accurate with his passes, too. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Carlos Boozer's checked in for Noah. Smith comes in for Dennis Rodman. Luol Dang is checked in for Scotty Pippen. It's Heinrich in for Derek Rogan. Travis Outlaw. Quarters of play, but six lead changes already in this one. Yeah, it's been a really good game for sure. I mean, it looks like it's going to stay tight throughout. Yeah, very competitive action. I agree with you, Clark. This one's going to come down in the last few minutes the way it looks. The Kings with the ball. Now Smith. He's got 16. No luck. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that. Sacramento might be called the king, but they were anything but regal or royal when they had it out on the road. The last season just brutal for them. Ooh! And he gives the MJ another assist. Yes, we'll see by the entertainment play of villainry and superstar, superhero. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if one team wins or not. Travis Outlaw, and they're taking you. They're taking the chances on those second chance points. Michael Jordan, what a play right there! Carlos Boozer. Michael Jordan with the takeaway. Ooh. And he does his signature. As I like to call it, Jordan Hang Time. Left 
and it's Horton again missing. And again, if the shot selection there, defender Drake Dalton. Whoa! Michael Jordan again. You can't just ride it up and try to shoot over the top. Taking it to the house. Showing some real sweet dunking skills here. Are you kidding me? Oh my God! What a play! That was spectacular. Now the dish to Brooks. Now they're leading up by three. Aaron Brooks almost gets the three-point play. Another trip to the line, and he's right on the mark. He's not a guy you want to get in the habit of putting on the strike. Here's Jordan with one on the clock. Holy smokes! What a sh what a play! I think that was the signature right there. And I can't believe they did not show no replay. Everybody was caught off guard. What a rejection right there. The ball falls. New Orleans Hornets with Chris Paul. And we'll find out the results from tonight with Derrick Rose. Oh, those are the highlights that they caught. A lot of the highlights they didn't catch. Or they're keeping them for interest. <laughs> Derek Rose. No luck. The Kings trail by three. And that's Evans penetrating. And that one's good. Tariq Evans. Evans has got the first points up on the board here in the fourth. Getting into the inside of the offense right there. And he scores. Rejected by Evans. And even three on three break. Page enjoying himself tonight. Michael Jordan taking a rest. Nate Robinson in. The Marcus Cousins. One of the oldest plays in basketball made that jump possible. That's right, a terrific screen right there, Steve. Allowed him to lose his man and rock it to the rim. Now, don't you love to see players working together in a fundamental play? Out of bounds. Chance to check out the Sacramento Kings' upcoming schedule. They've got the Timberwolves ahead of them next in Minneapolis. And that game will be game two of three straight on the road. The Kings have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Price dishes to Evans. 
And again, in Sacramento converted. Tariq Evans. Their last points have come inside the paint, so defensively, you've got to make an adjustment. Yeah, you got to do a little more to stop it. So, I mean, it's coming way too easy for him. At some point, you just got to walk up and say it's not going to happen. Out of bounds, Sacramento takes possession. So, for the Bulls, it comes in for Dennis Rodman. Michael Jordan subbed in for Nate Robinson. Kings leading now by three. Coach is liking Clark what he's seeing from his offense. And two, why wouldn't he? I mean, guys, they're filling it up with ease, executing, getting quality shots. I mean, this is fun to watch. Yeah, this is like a clinic out there, guys. This is exactly how you attack the defense. Move the ball, sharp cuts, and really a nice pace to their offense. Offensively, just hammering away. And, and that's 10 straight points inside, too. Outside Pippen. Rose, guarded by Price. Back to Rose. Shoots over Price. And the Bulls with another miss. Great defensive anticipation there to challenge that shooter. Stiakovic with it. Now Smith defending. And it's Stiakovic missing. Defense is just enough to throw off that shot. On offense, here are the Kings. Huge plays, but they're just not going in. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. That dunk deserved the second replay. Michael Jordan, 30 points tonight so far. Thomas Robinson, he's been playing great tonight with a lot of pressure going on on the court. Not an easy matchup with Josh Smith either. He took advantage of that pick and he did the rest, knocking down the jack. Now here's Price. Cousins for the screen on Rose. Evans passes to Cousins. Inside Robinson. He's against Smith. Away. Robinson misses. I'm not sure why he's fading away. He could have gone straight up for that shot. He would have had a better chance of making it. And it's Smith missing. And it's Sacramento's ball. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Stiakovich, guarded by Jordan. Shutters good by Stiakovich. Stiakovich has got 16 here in the second half. The way the Bulls wanted to perform in the playoffs last year, Kevin. And Derrick Rose, when he tore his ACL in the first game of the opening round, it was something they couldn't quite recover from. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, guys, Tom Jordan's got 
32 points. Just an unbelievable display of offense here today. And he scores their 100th point. Home not just home not having a good luck with the victories. We'll see. Page has been making some huge plays for Sacramento, keeping them ahead or catching them up. That's six great points now, guys, coming on the inside. Yeah, taking it right out. This is a great effort we're seeing. Here's Cousins. No, oh, there's no block. Thomas, Thomas Robinson tonight. Michael Jordan with a nice bucket. Tyreek Evans with the floater. Vicious. They're doubling Michael. Joe Kinoa calling for foul, but no no luck. The refs ain't calling it. They play good defense and they get another possession. But it's offline. Thomas Robinson. And for a rookie to be going out, <laughs> doing all out here, even though he is a nice NBA player. As it is, I bet they're taking notice to Thomas Robinson now. All right, Mark Price has checked in. I believe we're back to start of the positionings right now. They're running out of time. Rose against Price. Tariq Evans. Tariq Evans. got assist number nine. Now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Bulls trail by nine. A drive by Jordan. He feeds it to Pippen. Ooh. 
for the highlight tape. Oh, yeah, that, that is a keeper. You're correct. Man, that was incredible. Yeah, and those plays will give your team a huge boost. Here's Price. Evans. We're under two minutes. Pedro. I think he set in tone for the entire team in this quarter. Tremendous stuff. Good action. And I think that the Bulls are in danger by catching up right here. Page a force to be reckoned with tonight. Jokey Noah. Thomas Robinson. Bulls trail by ten. Sets a screen off the pit. And it's throws missing. It just has not been a viable option for them this quarter. And here's Evans. We're down to the final 30 seconds. As we see a little bit of villainry going on in the court. Michael Jordan again. They foul to slow the clock down to catch up. And that does it for calling substitutions. Well, dang, talking this harsh a little bit. So he goes two for two. Now. Teams 
to the paint. Right and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time. So he'll Jimmer for dead. Benny Del Negro to the line. Burdett not giving up an easy bucket there, even though they have the lead. He finally got, and he has some playing time. I'm not sure if I've seen him that much tonight. Jimmy Fredette shooting for Sacramento. And we see Mark Price and DeMarcus Cousins heading up to cut the deficit. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead. Coach calls Cousins back. Chicago calls the bench back of starters. Neither team makes a move. Interesting on that free throw possession. And tonight we witness another away team winning. There's something about that away swagger that really kicks in sometimes whenever they hear their names called. Yes, when they hear those names called, that's for sure. Paige Storyakovich as the player of the game. Jordan player of the game going against the Jordan player of the game team. Sponsored by Just Blaze and the good folks in Rockefeller Records. Fellow Americans, it is with the utmost pride and sincerity that I present this recording as a living testament and recollection of history in the making. He has a shot over Michael right there. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. Ho. Thanks to the OV. I used to. And our first Jordan player of the gamer to show that he's a Jordan player of the gamer towards our represent our representative of Michael Jordan. As it is, we are getting into box score. If you do not know, this is the time section as everybody in the stadium is end up is leaving. As it is, we have our Jordan player of the gamer, Pedro Storyakovic. Excellent game from today. Eight threes. I believe that's the most three point attempts made so far this season. Thomas Robinson, yes, as he's judged second with his first appearance. And he scores 24 points. Eight rebounds with assist. Tyreek Evans. As it is, he is a force indicator. We didn't really see that much, but we've seen enough. And he is ranked third on the Kings squad. And as it is, if you didn't know, we haven't said it during the last game of the Celtics in the Miami Heat, but we have player names, minutes played, points, rebounds, assists, steals, blocks, Turnovers, 
field goals made out of field goals attempted. Three pointers made out of three pointers attempted. Aaron Brooks. Pretty huge game so far as he is the starter of the Kings during this game. And it's pretty huge. He's been making 12 points at least. And to be ranked number fourth. DeMarcus Cousins. Now, this is the man that we've been scouting and looking at. But he did his thing. He got a double-double. With 10 points and 11 rebounds. And as he is ranked fifth tonight by the whole conference as uh, Jordan player of the game has been discussed. That's when judgment of box pressed gets intervaledly decided. And during this time, while we are discussing, they're still discussing and ranking. Mark Price. Oh, yeah, Mark Price was our lead point guard, wasn't he? Or was it Aaron? Huh, this is a good question. We'll have to check it out and remember a little bit extra. Thirty-one points, thirty-one minutes made and played. I believe that is a good amount of minutes for a legend. Marcus Thornton, and he started to heat up a little bit earlier in the game, making points. Hearing his awake call of his name heats up this Kings team and I believe that he heated up this Kings team immediately and you'll see his performances as he he will take shots as he will gain confidence when his name is called from away especially Jason Thompson As it is, the big tall guy, as he has, he has been battling down low and he had his matchups, but he has done pretty well as he has made six points at least. Travis Outlaw. Yes, it is. What are the Kings without having Travis Outlaw on their team to be an outlaw team in the Western Conference? Sacramento. Chuck Hayes. A little bit of matchup against Dennis Rodman there. As they still get the bucket anyway. And that's what some of the crew representatives do from press. They take pictures and not the person that scores or the ball person. They're, they're there to take pictures of press. Public news. There it is, Jimmer for that. As it is, he came in late and we figured it out. As he only has one minute this game. But he still scored two points by going to the free throw line, being fouled intentionally. John Salmons. No points for him tonight, but a little bit of minutes. 
We're looking forward to seeing more participation. Michael Jordan, our Jordan representative. 36 points. A lot of highlights tonight that were excellent and very recommendable to be one of the greatest players in the game. As I believe he he gave that assist to Josh Smith. Or Josh Smith gave an assist to him. As it is, surprisingly, the crew got it a little bit mixed up. As they have eyes on Josh Smith instead right now. Going this box. Yes, we're going to see more highlights. Scotty Pippen. And how about it? Him and Jordan, a dynamic duo, of course. But without a Dennis Rodman, they're not a dynamic trio to me. Twenty two points tonight. As he shows love to Michael. Josh Smith. And I believe if he, rotation did end up being how rotation was, maybe they could have won. Maybe not, though. As Paja still was a force factor tonight. And as is, they showed some press from Michael's camera view to Josh Smith just because Josh Smith is actually on the Bulls right now. That's probably what they're thinking. Derek Rose. Yes, and I got to enjoy my excitement seeing him and Carlos Boozer playing them. Right beside each other, Josh Smith. Derrick Rose with a nice hook pass. As it is, he gets his double-double. They couldn't slow him down from getting into the doubles of assistance. Joe King Noah. He had a double-double. Huge big man. And as it is, I love his gun signaturing. Even though we're not supposed to always like guns. Nate Robinson. Who knows if it was a? Who knows what type of signature that is that Jokey Noah does? I was just making little play commentary. He makes the most of his minutes in use. He made a huge three, as there's his foul. Carlos Boozer. Just like I said, complimentary player. 
pretty good big man as it is. I like to see him play next to Josh Smith. So this will be very interesting when this season occurs. Luau Dang. Luau Dang. Dennis Rodman. As it is, there ain't no top three, but I'll... A top three. Vinny Del Negro. The press couldn't get anything about him tonight. As there is a couple points. Taj Gibson. And I think that him, Josh Smith, and Carlos Boozer will be a next top three. That will be a good top three of big guys. Just like Michael and Scott E. Pippen and Dennis Rodman. And we have Kirk Heinrich. 